So the developers really have been loving the SDK. Now there has been one feature request that doesn't currently exist in the SDK that a few developers have asked for. And the request has mainly come from developers of clients like instant messaging clients, where by their very nature, they want to get a notification even when the user isn't currently running the application. Another example would be, say, eBay, that wants to alert you when you've been outbid, even if the user isn't currently running the application. So we absolutely want to solve this problem. The question is how? The wrong solution that some platforms jump to is to enable background processes. That is to say, to allow an application to continue to run even after the user thinks they've quit it. Now, this is bad for a number of reasons. First, battery life. That application that you think you've quit will continue to drain your battery in the background. The second is performance. When you're running an application, you want that foreground application to be as responsive as possible. But that background application, it's sucking up CPU cycles, making your entire experience feel sluggish. Now, other platforms have recognized this is an issue. And at least one platform has come up with this solution. <laughs> A task manager. Because you know, like a game, it challenges the end user to brush off their computer science skills, <laughs> figure out which of those background processes is eating up your CPU, and then manually kill it. But don't kill the wrong one, because now you're in trouble. It's, this is nuts. Uh, <laughs> We have come up with a far better solution, and that is we are going to provide a push notification service to all developers. Here's how it works. Let's say you're running an application like an instant messaging application. As you run it, it's connected to your server, so you can send across whatever messages you want. But when the user quits the application, there's no longer this connection to the server. That is where the push notification service comes in. We will maintain a persistent IP connection right to the phone. So then the third party server can push the notifications it wants through our service to your users. You can push three types of notifications. You can push badges, so you can alert the user how many messages, say, are waiting in your application. You can push a, a custom alert sounds. <laughs> These can be custom to your application. You can have as many as you want. You can push different ones for different alerts. And you can push custom textual alerts. They appear similar to the way our SMSs appear on the screen. So no matter what application you're in, you won't miss them. And you can provide buttons on them where if they're selected by the user, will automatically launch your application. And the great thing about this design is it scales. It scales to many third-party services. But still, there's only one persistent connection needed to the phone. So the push notification service. It is a unified push notification service for all developers. It preserves battery life. There aren't background processes draining your battery. It maintains performance. There aren't background processes chewing up your CPU cycles. And it all works over the air, over the Wi-Fi network and the cellular network. This will be available in September. But starting next month, we're going to be seeding developers so you can get your hands on it early. And this has been an update of the SDK. Thank you. <laughs>